How has Stan's on-screen relationship affected Reno Wilson's real marriage? Which Good Girls actress won Manny Montana's heart in real life? And how was Christina Hendricks' on-screen marriage similar to her off-screen one? Hi, I'm Janet, and you're watching Asa, Retta as Ruby Hill. Retta may have risen to fame in Parks and Recreation, but her latest role is a whole new ball game. She's gone from sassy singleton to suburban mom, and she's rocking it. While the actress, whose real name is Marietta Sirleaf, plays half of the cutest on-screen couple in history, it may surprise you to learn that off-screen, Retta is living her best life without a plus one. After all, the actress has admitted that she gets her fill of relationship drama by playing Ruby Hill alongside Rena Wilson. The only thing better than the chemistry between these two on screen is their friendship off screen. As Retta explains, she hates having to film a tense scene with Reno. She elaborated, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to have to do it because I want there to always be love with the hills. Or as some people call us, Stuby. This on screen love fest is an extension of how the actors feel about each other. Even though Retta only met her on screen significant other at a table read, she was immediately drawn to him. She explained, I love Reno, who plays my husband. He just made me feel so comfortable and we're so stupid together on set. We have a good time. And she plans to keep her focus on work for the foreseeable future with the end goal of an Oscar. So there you have it. Who needs a man when you can have a golden statuette, huh? Reno Wilson as Stan Hill. Reno was impressing his co-stars long before he joined the cast of Good Girls. When working on Mike and Molly, he would host spin classes during filming breaks. But his love of fitness actually stemmed for his other love, his wife. When Reno met his future wife, Coco, she was a yoga instructor who wanted to branch out. And he was keen to work on his fitness before he started working on being a husband and father. In fact, Reno joked, we planned to get super fit and super clean and then procreate. Now, after being married for two decades, he and his wife have envy exercise routines and a healthy family with three beautiful kids. Despite the length of their relationship, these two never miss a chance to praise each other. Just look at this sweet post from their last wedding anniversary. And with so much love for his own family, playing Stan is a perfect fit. The actor explained, when I read the script, I instantly connected to the character because this is the first time I am playing a husband and a father, which is what I love to do most. It's what I am. And he's not the only one enjoying the challenge. His real life wife is just as invested in his on-screen romance. While Ruby and Stan are going through tough times on screen, the actor's real boo is also rooting for Stuby. He admitted in an interview that it can be tough, explaining, literally, my wife was like, you and your TV wife need to work this out this season. We agree, we need more of the hills because that chemistry is amazing. In Reno's own words, working with Retta is a blast. The actor explained, even when we're on set, we're laughing and singing. Retta is amazing. I love working with her. Ah. Uh, romance. Mae Whitman as Annie Marks. Unlike her on-screen character, Mae doesn't have any kids, and nor has she been married. In fact, if there was an award for being tight-lipped about your romances, Mae would probably win it. Many of the actress's relationships haven't been confirmed, so the details are a little sketchy. However, we know that she was tied to Canadian actor and musician Dov Tiefenbach in 2008, although when they broke up is a total mystery. She was also incorrectly linked to her parenthood co-star and on-screen brother, Peter Krauss, who she admitted to being very close to. For anyone wondering, he's actually been dating another Parenthood co-star, Lauren Graham, for a few years now. The only previous relationship that May confirmed was with actor and singer Landon Pig. She admitted that since their relationship ended, they've remained great friends. The past is all fine and well, but what about May's current love life? In an interview with Glamour magazine, the actress admitted that she is currently in a relationship, but refuses to dish any more deets. She explained, I'm pretty secret about that stuff, I guess. I never really care, but I'm pretty secretive. It's a great relationship. Despite not giving away any details about her boo, May did open up about her views on relationships in general. Apart from thinking that the most important tip is to be present and live in the moment, she admitted that she doesn't have a type and doesn't believe that labels are a good idea. May explained, I think girls are attractive. I think boys are attractive. I think old people are attractive. I think young people are. I appreciate everything and everyone. And while this information is interesting, it doesn't help us figure out who's stolen the actress's heart. But May has admitted to having an amazing group of friends, including her ex-co-star, Miles Heiser, who she sees as a little brother. In fact, he even lived with her for a while, once again sparking dating rumors. Spoiler, they were all false. Whoever she's with, we just hope they're happy. Manny Montana as Rio. 
He may play a cold-hearted gangster on screen, but when he's not working, Manny is basically a giant teddy bear. And while we're definitely loving the romance between him and Beth on screen, off screen, his heart belongs to another of his co-stars. And before you panic, we're not referring to one of the headliners. Do you recall the episode in the second season when Rio was spotted smooching a lovely lady before helping her into a car? Well, that's the real Mrs. Montana. Yup, Manny is married to Adelpha Mar, a writer and life coach who jumped at the chance to work alongside her husband, even if it was only for a few seconds. Luckily, their relationship has lasted longer than her time on screen. Although these two are notoriously private about their personal lives, I mean, they haven't even confirmed their wedding anniversary or the name of their baby. But we do know that they've been together for about five years, and they've loved every second. Seriously, these two never miss a chance to spread the love. And it's as amazing as it is wholesome. But that might also be just because Manny found the perfect person. In a recent interview, the actor admitted that his wife is his best friend and his rock. He continued, It's so funny, man. You always wish to find that ideal marriage, whatever that means to you. And you want it. But in the back of your mind, you think it's far-fetched. I found that shit, man. And it's obvious she feels the same way. The couple has admitted that they do everything together and that their family is what's really important, which is why they keep their baby and their private lives, well, away from the public eye. But that doesn't mean that Manny isn't willing to share anything about his home life. He has admitted that he's exactly where he wants to be. Manny continued, My life is a trip now, and I'm having a lot of fun. Having a baby is endless love times 10. You never know a love like this until you have a kid. I just hope it's made me a better and more patient person, and we have no doubt that it will. Matthew Lillard as Dean Boland we have never been happier to admit that an actor is the total opposite of their on-screen persona. Yep, Matthew is nothing like the character he plays on screen. In fact, of all of the Good Girl cast members, he's actually been married the longest. Matt met Heather Helm, a realtor, at a party in the early 1990s. It was love at first sight for him, and he must have impressed her, because in 2000, they moved in together and he proposed. And it was like something out of a rom-com. The actor admitted, I had made up this whole book of our past year together. On every page, I'd written or drawn something, and on the last page, I had attached the engagement ring. Since then, his focus has been on his career and his family, which are closely linked. In fact, his first child, Addison, was born the weekend that his career-defining hit, Scooby-Doo, hit theaters. Although for Matt, the birth was a far more important event. He recalled a phone call from the Scooby-Doo team that weekend. The producer called and was like, can you believe this? And I went, I know, I just had a baby. He said, no, the numbers. And I was like, oh, right. In 2004, and 2008, he and his wife welcomed their second and third children, completing their family and making hordes of people jealous with their love fest. For over 20 years, Matt and Heather have been goals, and it's great. Now we're just hoping the next 20 years are as epic. Christina Hendricks as Beth Boland the actress seems to be surrounded by failing marriages. On screen, her husband is not only cheating on her, but he's blown all their money. Off screen, the actress is also recovering from a failed marriage. After a decade of wedded life with actor Jeffrey Arndt, Christina filed for divorce for irreconcilable differences. Christina initially met Jeffrey in 2007 when he was introduced to her by a co-star. She found him charming, funny, and magnetic until 2019 when something changed. Just one day after sharing an old pic of herself and her husband, in Halloween costumes, the actress released a statement about their impending divorce. It read, 12 years ago we fell in love and became partners. We joined our two amazing families, had countless laughs, made wonderful friends, and were blessed with incredible opportunities. Today, we take our next step together, but on separate paths. Thankfully, it seems that the divorce was amicable, as it was settled pretty quickly, and with no children, the only custody they needed to sort out was for their dogs. Christina's initial statement also explained, we will all Always work together to raise our two beautiful dogs. Although the couple did not explicitly state why they called it quits, some fans suspect that it had something to do with kids, or a lack thereof. In 2012, just three years after tying the knot, the actress admitted that scared her then-husband when she mentioned starting a family with him. Christina explained, I cracked it out in such a big way. I was like, you make me want to have a family. I freaked him out a bit. Thank God I didn't spook him enough to make him leave. So with her desire to start a family, it came as a shock when the 
the couple later announced that they had decided against having kids. The star announced in 2014, We've decided that we are not really interested in having children. Could they have ended their marriage over a difference in opinion about kids? Though we'll never really know the answer to that. We just want them both to be happy. And it seems that Christina is certainly on her way to that goal. Since her divorce, she's been taking time to focus on friends, family, and self-care. And until her Mr. Right comes along for real, at least she has her fur babies. If you need more romance, check out our other Real Life Partners videos. And until next time, stay awesome.